Hi, I'm Jesus, and this video is going to look at the insane madmen who opened 5,000 cases and didn't get a single knife. Now, before I start, this video is sponsored by the Steam Card Store, the easy to use website that allows you to buy sets of cards you need to craft badges and level up your Steam profile. I'll talk more about them later in the video. So anyway, you might think based on some of the unboxing videos you see around the place that getting a knife isn't actually that hard. I mean, YouTubers seem to be unboxing them all the time. And look, I'm not specifically accusing anyone here or specifically singling out any particular video, but I've got some bad news to break to you guys. Sometimes YouTubers only upload stuff where they've had good luck. Yeah, shocking, I, I know. Who would have thought that was possible? But what this video is going to do is have a look at just how fucked up the Oz for cases can actually be. And it stems from a story from Esports Talk, Research with the Help of Flora. And it's basically just what it sounds like. Two Chinese streamers who opened over 5,300 cases didn't get a single knife. Now, their reactions are priceless for different reasons. The first guy, this dude called Lou, who opened up over 2,300 cases, may as well have been doing his maths homework or something. I mean, listen to his reaction, listen to the emotion. I mean, that's the noise I used to make when I realised I had to start studying for calculus. Look at MBK over there, his expression is just perfect. He's sitting there thinking, fuck, how can people call me a robot when this guy exists? And his compatriot, on the other hand, this guy called XF, isn't quite so reserved. Now, this is an older set of clips, but based on his reaction, I suspect the wounds from the 3,000 cases that he opened and failed to get a knife from are still kind of raw. <laughs> Now, this video is going to ask the question, did these guys just have bad luck? Or is something rigged here? Because on average, you should be getting one knife for every 384 cases you open based on Valve's publicly released odds. So these poor guys should have had 14 knives between them and zero is a lot less than 14. But odds being odds, saying that you'll get one knife on average for every 384 cases isn't the same as saying you'll get one knife for every 384 cases because it's just an average. And in fact, if you open 384 cases, your chance of getting at least one knife is only 63%. The remaining 37% of the time, you actually won't get one. So the odds are in your favor, but it's far from certain as well. But thing about this mass is we can just extrapolate it to 5,300 cases. And if you didn't know, your odds of getting a knife a 0.26%. That's where the 1 in 384 comes from. And your odds of not getting a knife, therefore, are 99.74%. So working out the odds of not getting a knife from 5,300 cases is just 99.74% to the power of 5,300, which gives us this lovely number. It's kind of small. I see a lot of zeros there. And to make it a bit more comprehensible, this means the odds are 1 in 982,588. And I think that's slightly sus. Something is clearly not right because it's just such a low number. And I'll explain what I mean by this through an analogy. So when people calculate the odds of there being life on Earth, much less there being a civilization, you get a pretty small number. But you know what? When you're in a galaxy with 250 billion stars, and at least 200 billion galaxies in the whole universe. Well, that doesn't fucking matter. The odds can be 1e e to the power of 20, and it's still odds on for something like us to exist. But how often do you get mass unboxings of 5,300 cases in one big go between two individuals? Well, not very often, and odds of 1 in 982,588 Seems like a little bit too much for me to buy. It, it looks bad. So tell me, Gaben, what's going on here? Did you scam these two poor individuals? Is there something about your case opening system that you didn't tell people? I mean, have you heard what Lou sounds like when he unboxes something special? <laughs> yep, 
that's the quiet guy from before when he unboxes something good. I mean, what the hell, Valve? Why are you denying us this wholesome goodness? I mean, and that says something I'm not telling people. Yeah, uh, actually, there's something I, I didn't mention here. You see, I'm treating both these unboxings, separated by time, space, and a UI overhaul, as the same thing. And you can't do that. You can't arbitrarily select two particular sets of data and ignore every single case unboxing in between. You have to treat them as separate entities. So let's do the math for the larger of these two sets of cases, the 3000 case unboxing. Well, the odds of not getting a knife in that drop from basically one in one million to one in 2,465. Now, these are still pretty small odds, but they're a lot better than they were before. And given people open tens and tens of millions of cases, Personally, I find what happened here completely plausible. It's it's unlikely, poor XF is obviously devastated, but I think it was really just bad luck. Make up your own mind, obviously, but my feeling is these poor bastards were just really unlucky. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. Before I go, I'd like to quickly say a bit about the Steam Card Store. Basically, this is a leveling service with an easy to use website attached. You can select the exact number of levels you want and it will tell you exactly how many card sets you'll need and how much that'll cost you. So it's nice, it's simple, there's no getting confused. It also has a bunch of ways to pay as well. It also, on top of that, allows you to sell off cards you don't need. You don't even need a full set, by the way. You can just sell off individual cards and you can also trade cards to complete your set, which is pretty useful if you've got a bunch of multiples in your inventory. So links in the description. Also, check out the Steam group. I'll link that as well. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. As always, trust the numbers, not your guts. I'm Jesus. See ya.